Want to take better videos with your phone? Check out these tips. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna show you some tips to take better video with your phone. First step, you wanna hold your phone, not like this, but more like this horizontally when you're doing your videos of anything. Essentially, you wanna shoot in horizontal mode because that is 16 by nine, which what's that mean? It fills the whole screen. When you shoot vertically, it only fills a portion of the screen and you have all these black bars. So shoot horizontally. Another good key is to not shoot into the light with your phone. So what that means is you don't wanna aim your phone at the sun or at a big bright light. So if your kids are on the playground or you're shooting something and the sun or something really bright is behind them, mm -hmm. what your phone's gonna do is it's gonna try and expose for the bright thing and not your kid or the subject. So what ends up happening is that kid becomes a silhouette, it's super dark. So instead what you wanna do is you wanna turn the camera around and actually turn your back and shoot the opposite direction. This way you're gonna use that light as a source to light up the face of the kid or whatever you're shooting and uh, you're gonna get proper exposure. Another thing is you really have to be careful not to use the digital zoom. I've been there, trust me, don't do it. It ruins and destroys your quality of all your videos. So instead of doing the digital zoom by pinching, what you wanna do is just get closer to your subject. You're gonna get way better quality and something you'll actually enjoy watching later. Another great option if you wanna take your phone to the next level is there's a ton of lenses that attach directly to your phone. A good brand, for those who don't know, is Moment. They create awesome lenses that actually increase your focal length. What that means is you can put a lens on top of your camera, over your camera, and you're gonna extend that length. So instead of zooming in with your fingers, you can actually zoom in with that lens. And so it'll increase your camera quality. You can essentially shoot with a 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter on top of your camera. So you're pretty much hacking your mobile phone to be like a DSLR. Another thing to do is instead of using the, the camera's native feature, you can actually download apps, you can buy apps that actually let you control a way more settings than what your phone will let you do. So you can select the, the frame rates, you can lock in the focus, you can lock in the exposure, you can do all sorts of fun things that will allow you to enhance your videos and have a little more control. A good app to think about is Filmic Pro. That's something mm -hmm. I personally use because it gives you way more control than the native camera app. Another great thing to use is there's a ton of these small tripods. They're great for time lapses, for really setting up a family shot or setting up things without having to use your hands. They're also great because tripods like these actually twist so you can mount them to railings or staircases or just different things that you are around that you find, even like a car door. So if you want to get a really epic driving shot, you might be able to mount it. Now you're risking your phone, I just want to point that out, but you can mount it to the car door or even the mirror or mm -hmm. different things because it's it's pretty light yeah. in the back. Or if you just really, really want a selfie mode, you just... Next up is a mobile stabilizer. Those are great because it really stabilizes the phone so that it removes any type of shakiness to mess with your video. So you get better video quality as you're running around, if you're chasing kids, mm -hmm. or if you want to use your phone to shoot a wedding, whatever it is, it, it, they're really great. There's all sorts of brands that make these. We actually just reviewed one called Movi. It just was released. Uh, you could check out that video somewhere here if you're interested in that. Also linked in the description is a list of different stabilizers for you to consider. So those are some simple tips to help you take better video with your mobile phone. So comment below and let us know your tips that we didn't cover. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for next video.